welcome. Thank you for joining me on my channel. My name is Victoria Ajay of Victoria Ajay Beauty. I'm a bridal and soft glam makeup artist based out of Texas. And if this is your first time joining me here on my channel is where I come to talk everything about beauty, about the beauty business, and once in a while I'll take you along on my vlogs when I'm, you know, making my brides beautiful. And if this is not your first time joining me, welcome back and thank you so much for rejoining me. If you can see from the title, we are back with these yummy coffee and some fall vibes. Literally, I was scrolling my Instagram and it came to me. I was like, oh my gosh, the lip bar. So this entire look has is inspired by this liquid lipstick that they just released. It's their fall color and it is called Low Key. And y'all just, I mean, really? Really? Like, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, and I was introduced to the lip bar um, a number of years ago when I was doing one of my sorority sister's weddings. I was doing the bridal makeup and the bridesmaid makeup for her wedding. And I'm just going to insert the picture right here. But how gorgeous are they? And she gifted all of her girls with a lip bar lipstick. And also we use that lipstick in all of their looks beautiful on everyone's skin tone and it lasted all night. I think I only had to touch them up like one time after they ate and it wasn't a liquid lipstick. It was one of the stick lipsticks, but I was impressed. I was like, this is going on beautifully and I'm like, what is this brand? She told me um, we were actually in our hometown in Michigan and I was like, oh my God, I've heard of this brand because I watched the founder, Melissa Butler on Shark Tank and she was coming there talking about business and beauty so I was like what is this and the sharks actually did not buy her idea and jokes on them because they definitely missed the mark because at the time that she was coming out after that it was just a huge just pop of beauty brands embracing all different skin tones and cultures and then also the lips like the lip business in general just boomed lip shout out it is in michigan i'm from michigan it's her flagship store is in detroit so it's so funny because this this name low key is like i mean it does mean like low key but in michigan we say low key for everything so if you're from the midwest please put in the comments that you know what i'm talking about so if anything you know is something you want to keep on the low or something you're kind of like noticing that you don't think anyone else is noticing you say low key um i saw you know such and such so low key is so so midwest so detroit one of the things i want to do with this look is show you guys how you can pretty much create this entire look using only bronzers yes you heard me we did all of this with just bronzers so keep watching if you want to find out how i got this look and you know okay so the hair is clipped back you know just to get out of our face and i you know every time i do a tutorial i kind of come on here with a different amount of my face finished um i think it just helps like make the tutorial go along and if it's a focus feature like my eyebrows or my skin that i kind of do the same way every time foundation on my concealer on and my under eye powder like set and all of those things are linked in the description box if you are interested in the products that i use and then also i have my brows on so other than that i'm not powdered yet and i did that on purpose because with this fall look i want to show you how i kind of make my face look velvety okay so guys i just want to put y'all on something really quickly i am so mad at myself because i went to ulta the other day and they were all gone all they had were the testers and i was like i should have bought five first of all they're eight dollars okay and it is the nyx can't stop won't stop powder this is a mattifying powder not good for my dry angels but this is awesome if you are combination to oily and you want to keep your face looking velvety especially for the fall i use a powder puff which is a little different a lot of people like use brushes and that's what i you know probably would have normally used but i am going to use a powder puff so i'm just going to use the mac powder puff and i literally like slam this powder puff into the powder 
get it nice and loaded and then we're literally just gonna pat it into the skin so this is where again that term beating your face comes from because we are beating this powder into our face and we want this powder to just make our complexion look so velvety look so like mattified and perfect and that's exactly what it does i think it's part product for sure but definitely part technique and you just always pat it down the neck because the neck is part of your face babies and i'm kind of avoiding the under eyes because i want to darken up what i you know worked so hard for to make brighter but i always like concentrate on these little hot spots in the corners of my nose because that's usually where I start to wick up some oil and in the middle. So y'all, I don't know if you can see this on camera. I can see it in person. Like, this looks so freaking good. Like, when you put this can't stop, won't stop on, your face just looks like velvet. So, highly recommend. If you can get your hands on three, get your hands on as many as possible. Because I don't know if it's like limited or if it's stained. In wax, if you're watching, please stay. Like, this is, this is it. So I'm going to do my face and my eyes this time with bronzer hmm. and I'm going to use two different bronzers and I mean I guess I didn't really even realize that when I made this video or when I decided that I was inspired by this lip color that this is pretty much an affordable video. Um, I'm not like all for affordable products like I think there's some really awesome prestige products but I think it's a really awesome value budget products as well so I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place and the Maybelline Fit Me as my bronzer kind of I mean trio if you would because in the Juvia's you actually get uh, two different colors and in the uh, Maybelline you get one so I'm gonna use all three of these to pretty much kind of carve out the face, give it some depth, and then I'm also going to use it as my eyeshadow. And using bronzers as my eyeshadow is one of my favorite things to do. So in the Juvia's Place ones, you get two colors. I'm in the color tan. I like the darker one um, in particular for my face, but you can totally use the lighter one as you kind of lose your tan in the fall. <laughs> so I'm just going to go right here in this little bronzer area I like to bring my bronzer up on my cheek so it's sort of like a blush as well and we just want to look like a fall caramel macchiato <laughs> so, so we already get like some depth to the cheeks starting to warm us up and then this is just a Sonia Keshek like old school brush from Target that I love it's super soft and it says we make me put on bronzer where it's like suck it in our face <laughs> and I put a little bit on the sides of my chin just to narrow that out a little bit okay so we're we're living we're living in this run this Maybelline matte and poreless and this is actually a fit me powder this is um in shade 375 Java and this is actually it's not really a bronzer it's a color of powder that someone can use on their face but I just got it a few shades darker than my skin so I can use it as bronzer because I really like the mattifying properties of this and also just the smoothness that it goes on this fit me line um, I think that Maybelline did such a good job if I you know humbly do say so myself I like their foundation the matte and poreless foundation and I like these powders So we're just like, you know, putting that in, making it look real blown out because we know we love a blown out brown smoky eye. And I bring this pretty high. Like, I definitely lighten up on my pressure as I get towards that outer part of my eyebrow. But I want that gradient. I want that blown out feeling um, for the eyeshadow on this, on this look. Because we're really not doing much as far as like our lids. We're not adding sparkle. We're not adding anything. So we really need for our eyes to be defined. And I'm going to take the lighter shade in the tan. And this is going to be the shade that I run over my eyelid. So we're just going to give a little bit of a gradient. It's not 
too crazy it's not going from super light to super dark but it is giving us some sort of interest here so the eye picks up on oh there's something else on the lid that's not the color that's in the crease and I'm using the same brush like y'all we're making this pretty pretty quick and simple back to you guys what I have my lashes on and I mean you know movie magic so I lashes are on and I mean y'all this bronzer is giving like look how it is just blown out soft like it's my favorite look honestly of all time it probably should be like my everyday look because I love it so much so Last thing we're gonna do since we have our lashes on, I like to go underneath. Same brush, y'all. This is a this is a budget quick fall. Like these are all the things tutorial. Um, so I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade again, and we're just gonna run this underneath, and we're kind of like matching that blown out vibe of the top. Alright, so that's really all you need there. So let's head over to the star of this show. Um, and that is the Lip Bar Low Key Liquid Lipstick. This just came out. This is their new fall shade. And I am so excited to try this because it is the claims are this universal chocolatey brown that looks good on everybody and I gotta put it to the test. So I'm gonna go in with Juvia's Place Cola Lip Liner which is one of my favorites very similar to a MAC chestnut and we're gonna line our lips. Alright, I definitely took my time with the lining because when you're doing something like a bolder lip, it's really important to keep it like very, very structured. So, let's go in with lip stick. Wow. So one thing to note about this lipstick is it goes on glossy at first and then it dries down to a matte. So, I mean, and how white does it make your teeth? Like, so freaking pretty. So, let's take these clips out and zhuzh the hair a little bit. So, okay, okay, fall, fall vibes I'm loving this look like I think this is so fall it's so simple like it can be such a cute little date night you can use this when you're going to the pumpkin patch it's just a really cute look and it's so funny how makeup can change how like your hair looks like I feel like my hair looks so much darker once I put this lipstick on it I want to just thank you guys for joining me um, and I think this is so cool. This tutorial literally ended up being kind of a budget friendly and fall and, you know, drugstore brand and simple. And that wasn't even my intention. I just was really, really inspired by this lipstick when I saw it on my Instagram. And I love this company, love what they stand for. And I was like, I gotta do this because this is a fall lip that I would wear. And I was in the market for a new, really, really dark brown. So I just love the tones of this. Like, it's almost like you don't know if you're looking at a true brown or if you're looking at something with a little red in it or if you're looking at something with a little gray in it like it's like what am I you know I can see where it looks good on a lot of different people for joining me and join me next time when we do another tutorial talk about more beauty business or you can follow me along on my little vlogs when you know I get to take you guys with me so have an awesome day thank you